Hi there, today we're going to be talking about what can happen if you remove the CMOS battery from your computer or laptop. My name is Steve, this is TQA Weekly, and this is something that might be enlightening to some of you. It is a very important battery normally found on your computer towers and notebooks, and it does something very specific, which is maintain the memory of the CMOS, which is part of the BIOS, even if the computer is unplugged. It doesn't need very much power, but it does need power nonetheless. And what happens if you remove it or it were to die is the following. First, starting with the time and date, it will simply disappear. This is not a big deal. Once you reconnect to the internet, it will simply fix that, but you can set it up manually. Again, it will adjust for the correct time and date. It's just that it can be annoying if you don't happen to connect to the internet to correct the time. The second thing is that everything to do with the overclocks and the boot order will disappear. Yeah, I'm serious. If you lose power or remove it, your hard drives and other devices might load in the wrong order or your computer might not load at all. Not a big deal, you can fix that. The third thing is that your PK keys for secure boot will disappear, making it kind of impossible to boot your computer unless you turn off secure boot or how do we say reload your PK keys and this is mainly an issue for Windows 11. The next thing is that you had encryption keys embedded in your BIOS those two will disappear hopefully you had a backup for those. Also if you use RAID all of your RAID settings especially if they were maintained in the BIOS are gone you just lost your data I hope you kept backups for that and in the case of, of course, RAID arrays, PK keys, and all that, usually you can back that information up. So like other kinds of data, you really should maintain a backup of the configuration of your BIOS, just in case your CMOS battery dies or someone removes it. Oh, and as a diagnostic tool, you can remove the CMOS battery if ever your computer simply doesn't want to load or you can use the clear CMOS option of any mother motherboard, which is a good thing about BIOSes, the CMOS and batteries. You're not necessarily stuck with what's going on if something happens. So like this episode if you like it, dislike it if you didn't share with those that you think can benefit from this. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at or go to my website, tqwayweek.com. We can see show notes on this episode, past others, find other ways of subscribing, and of course, use the contact form to email me directly. And I am currently playing Watch Dogs Legion at twitch.tv slash zaxis1981, periodically with my friend Valerie, every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 7 to 9 p.m. Waiting to see you there. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.